<laughs> wasn't terribly long. That chapter is. Oh, thank you. That does not. That is not Dorothea. That was a Monica voice line. Man, I, I desperately need a haircut, but all the barbers ghosts, are closed. So alive. GG. But that Death Knight person feels so. Familiar. It's almost like I was talking to her, literally five seconds ago. You found Flame? Oh, thank goodness. She was unconscious at the end of that secret passage. We found the culprit too, but he got away. We almost had him, but we killed too many of his cohorts. I'm just grateful that everyone is safe. That's what matters most. I'd like to hear what transpired, but first, understood. <sighs> I'm... I'm sorry, Professor. I'm so relieved I suddenly felt weak. I couldn't be happier with how things turned out. And I imagine no... Hmm? Hey, Professor. Can you make that expression one more time? What are you time? talking to? Wait. So this is too small, and that and Talus is too large. <laughs> like she's like hiding behind him. I don't think I've ever seen your face like that. <laughs> I apologize. I've forgotten myself and come dangerously close to teasing you. It's just I've never seen you look so happy before. It's downright messy. We don't know what she looks like when she's happy. But this isn't a time for idle chit chat. We must hurry and share the good news with Seteth. Okay. No smiles for so for, for Sothis. I was gonna call her Sotith. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. Her kidnapper was the Masked Knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare. And extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. <laughs> Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... You know it is the only reasonable option. <laughs> You think so too? With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. <laughs> After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? I am so glad that Flaine is safe. She wore the uniform. This version of Seteth can trust me, but the real version of Seteth cannot. Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Who is Monica? Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. 
Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there. So we must remain <laughs> cautious and continue our investigation. She is part of the Black Eagle House. She does replace Dorothea. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all. Yes, please guide them. Okay. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western... Well, there was... A... I have my own mission. The church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. <laughs> what I'm more concerned yep, about... Yep, that is, is sure, isn't it, Zero? ...among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere, too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? All right, we're going to be recruiting hard. Let's keep going, because that map was like literally 10 minutes long. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is finally upon us. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. Have Lady Rhea and Seteth really not filled you in? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion takes place every year during the Wyvern Moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses. Much like the one we had during the Great Tree Moon. Do you remember, Professor? It was certainly an unforgettable time. I've never seen anyone put away as much victory food as you did that <laughs> night, Professor. This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. Your Highness, if the rumors are true, I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes, right you are. Given recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. Since she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Professor Manuela, are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oh my, look at- We have- It's time to explore. Hold on, there's there's an Arthur meme here, one second. <laughs> Arthur memes, that's a classic. That's a dead meme. He is like just jamming out. He is just having a fun time. Look at him go. Just listening to the music, just relaxing. <laughs> this monastery is more dangerous than I expected. It's likely that our foes have infiltrated the ranks of the teachers. If you ask me, there is something amiss about that old man, Tomas. Ah, 
That is how you jam, folks. That is how you relax. Okay. Let's... Can we recruit anybody yet? Solon, you are so... wholesome. <laughs> hey, Professor! Did you hear about the fishing tournament? You get to fish in the pond as much as you want. The more you catch, the more you get to eat. <laughs> good, good for you, buddy. Are you going to participate in the fishing tournament, Professor? Hey, Professor. No? Indeed. Hey. Oh, right, Sylvain. I told my brother I had a crave. I did not realize. Can you believe what Sedeth said? Catch some tasty fish for Flane. I'm her bodyguard. Okay, before we do this, we have to do the daily height inspection here. All right, Sylvain, will you be a tall boy or will it be a short stack? Here we go. Ah, Sylvain is, I think, a little taller? Huh? How tall are you? You're a little taller. Okay. Okay, what what are you saying though? What's what's your what's your deal here, dude? Brawling prowess one. Good strength. Good charm. Really good charm. One hundred and thirty eight centimeters. All right, let's see what your spells look like in your growths. Sixty three HP, thirty nine magic. 41 strength, 67 dexterity, 47 speed, 31 luck, 25 defense, 45 res, 68 charm in one move. Dang! And for spells, you have, ooh, you have bolting, nice. Blizzard, Bolganone, Sagittae, and bolting at A, and then heal, Nosferatu, and restore. Not bad, Silflane, not bad. I thought you were gonna be shorter. I was kind of hoping you'd be like a little tiny one, but that's okay. Just two best friends having a nice time together. Oh, this takes me back. I used to love this when I was a child. Eating food always fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody! <laughs> it's tea time with the Emperor! Look at his fancy schmancy throne that he had to bring with him. I'm surprised the chair's not having a meltdown. Delicious. Aw, uh, don't worry. Hey, look up! No, don't be shy! <laughs> You're just an old guy. It's okay, buddy. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for the tea. 
I look forward to doing this again. Guys! Okay, this is weird. Alright. So, Ingrid's Monica. Okay. So, Ingrid is Monica. And the Flame Emperor... Is Ingrid. <laughs> okay, hold on. I need to try to figure this one out. Okay. Rodrigue? Rodrigue is Edelgard, who is talking to Ingrid, who's Monica. My Flame Emperor is Ingrid. Can someone- can someone make sense of this? Can someone deep lore this shit for me? <laughs> I don't know what's go- I don't know how to explain this. There's this weird try- there's just like this weird- Friggin' like red thread dot thing that I just can't wrap my head around right now. Hi there, Ingrid. <sighs> what do you say, Edel? Shall we meet up in the library later to? Oh, hello, Professor. <laughs> do you need something? I'm a little busy at the moment. Sorry, Professor. I've got a lot of questions to ask Edel here. Since I couldn't graduate last year, I really want to make sure I can do so this year. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, guys. <laughs> Death Knight's true identity. Personally, I don't think it could be Yuritsa. He taught me swordsmanship. He said I had talent and the potential to get pretty strong. He was a little scary. Mm hmm. <laughs> Guess who else didn't get the randomizer memo? Ah, I see. So you are Gerald's child. You so resemble your mother. I am nothing more than a common monk. <laughs> I knew your parents once upon a time. I've been gone from the monastery for some time now because, well, it matters not. Might I ask a favor of you? Do you mind terribly picking up some fresh flowers to place upon your mother's grave? I am certain she. Hmm. Okay, Elfric. If that's your real name. Thank you. I can. I must be off. Please. Goodbye. Thanks, Elfric. We're getting some tea time with Nadir. How's it going, Nadir? Look at that big guy. With a very gentle voice. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Voices that don't match the body. This flavor is splendid. <laughs> Exhibit A. I want to support my family, but I don't know if I can handle being a knight. Ha! <laughs> Some people look smarter if they're wearing glasses. Not me, though. 
Look at that smile. What a nice guy. It's gonna be weird when people like drag him into support conversations. Mm. I wish I wasn't so shy all the time. <laughs> he has a nice face, man. Some people look smarter if they're wearing glasses. Not me, though. Good for you, bud. You're a cool guy. And you're gonna make a great Thank physic you for the bot. delicious tea. I'd be happy to join you again whenever you like. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap things up for this part. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the play, the gameplay. It was kind of silly on my part, but there are some shenanigans going on with the randomizer still, which is great. Um, I think at this point, uh, a lot of the early game is going to be mostly just a quick kind of like super cut of the gameplay to make sure like, cause you guys already kind of know um, what to expect when it comes to part one at least. Part two is when things get way more interesting in terms of chapters. Um, and just making sure we can try to recruit as many people as we can at this point. Cause I think I want to recruit, try to recruit like all like the novel characters. Um, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do about Costas. I, I don't know. Maybe I should just focus on armor, but it's really hard to do. And I really don't feel like doing it. Um, especially for Byleth, it's really tough. Or I guess Sothis in this case. Um, but we'll see. Um... Everyone else, I think I think Ionis is gonna come through like this week or next week. Nadir is gonna come through, I think. Felix as well. Claws being a work in progress. So we're gonna get our best our, the characters that we're striving for, um, and then we'll just gonna we're just gonna have some meme teams going on. So guys, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and comment, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Deuce.